Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 16. Analysis of Chichibox Pro Supports Editing Function, Episode 7. How to add supports to the inside of a hollowed model. Continuing from the last episode, let's learn about how the advanced parameter settings will affect the supports editing. Let's continue auto slash manual support section. Enable supports in shell, check it, and use the auto supporting function. Chichibox Pro will generate support in the inner cavity of the model automatically. Have you ever worried that printing hollowing model directly without adding support may lead to failure? How to add supports to the inside of a hollowed model? There are two scenarios. One is that the model itself is set to the hollow state. The other is that we have performed the hollowing operation during the pre-processing. Generally, there are also two ways to add supports to the inside of a hollowed model. First, to use the fill function in the hollow section. You can use the infill function and then set the corresponding density value during hollowing. Chichubox Pro will fill the structure while hollowing automatically, and this filling structure can play the role of supporting. Another is, to use the advanced parameter setting in Chichubox Pro's support function, which is we are going to talk about today. We can add a support structure to the inside of a hollowed model by using the supports in shell function, which is applicable for both scenarios above. Spacing for model refers to the minimum distance between the supports and the model in the X and Y axis direction, when the support trunk falls on the platform. Setting a suitable value can effectively help us avoid the situation where the supports are too close to the model and damage the model. However, it is important to note that if the value is set too large, the force of the support will be reduced, which may lead to printing failure as well. Also, the supports will take up too much room and reduce the utilization of the printing platform. Max offset from contact refers to the maximum offset distance between the support main stem and the contact point horizontally in the X and Y axis, and the support falls on the printing platform. The smaller the value, the shorter the horizontal between distances will be. Whether the supports are added automatically or manually, the setting distance needs to be less than the maximum value that the supports can falling on the print platform, and vice versa. This is one of the reasons that sometimes we are unable to add supports to models. This parameter also affects the number of the generated supports, especially in auto-supporting mode. In fact, when adding supports, these two parameters will work together and will influence each other. Starting effective height of lower end diameter of the middle support, refers to the height of the lower diameter of the middle support which the value takes effect. In Chichibox Pro, the support lower end diameter value takes effect only when the support height is greater than this value. Vice versa. Enhanced automatic support, you can enable or disable auto-supporting enhancement. When you enable this function, the slicer will add auxiliary supports to the isolated supports of the model automatically, and generate a connection structure with them, which can well improve the printing stability of the supports. Small column auto-snapping. You can choose to enable or disable the small column auto-snapping function. When you enable this function, the slicer will attach the lower end of the small column to a suitable support automatically. However, if the distance between the model contact point and the support exceeds the adsorption radius value, the slicer will generate a new pillar support that falls on the printing platform. Adsorption radius refers to the maximum radius distance of the small pillar after the small column auto snapping function is enabled. For example, when we set it to 5mm and 3mm respectively.
Preview Mode Setting Preview Support, Add Support You can choose to enable or disable the preview when adding supports manually. When this function is enabled, the support is displayed in green perspective, and we can preview the shape, position and size of the supports, etc. Support hidden angle, 0 to 90 degrees. Refers to the maximum angle that the middle support and bottom support will be hidden. This angle refers to the view through the printing platform and with the Z-axis direction of the model. If the parameter is set to 0, then Chichibox Pro will disable the hiding of supports. Display Support Auxiliary Line It means that you can choose to show or hide the support auxiliary line. The dotted line can help us to locate the place of the supports quickly and efficiently. Select the model to center. It means that the selected model will be placed in the center automatically, even in the perspective view. Setting a suitable preview mode is helpful for us to quickly add or edit supports. For example, set the suitable parameters of the hiding angle can help us quickly find the right place to add supports. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Shichubox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.